NXT, what they do have is this Cassidy late game. Corgi is going to fall off. It's very magic heavy for EDG, so it's easy for SK Telecom to itemize against it, except... Stopped at 1600. Smite is not up for Bangies. He comes in here. This might be the fight focus for SKT. He flashes off the wall. Deft is level three. Flashes for the vision as well. First blood for Deft on his Corky. Barn hits Nar. Hops out of that. And he just used flash. This should be a kill for SK Telecom. Yeah, Koro's not going to be able to do too much about this one. Level four and a level three just feeding off the tree. And that's going to be level five for Bang here as he gets a little bit at pawn. Koro desperately trying to get deep vision control. Kind of caught when doing so. A lot of pings going down in the river for Bang and Wolf's rotation. But Faker is already here with pawn. Nice Emperor's Divide. That's definitely the disengage. Faker can get a kill this early. That's going to be great. The true shot arrives from Bang is spot on. And clear love may be number two. Eagle Eye Bang. And he does just right. put as much damage on it as possible. Chip it away slowly, make it easy for the ADK to come in later. Whoa, Daft realizes the mana pool of Bang. Goes in hard. Oh, gets the flash for the summoner heal, but Daft also has to use his. This means Wolf's coming in. You already have Bangy just by Dragon. He body slams over the wall. The teleport by Koro is actually canceled for pressure, but he probably wishes he came down now because Bangy's on site. Wolf's going to be able to get the pulverize on the Mako. The headbutt back first to make sure they solidify the kill here. And I think they're going to go ahead and give it over to Bangy with the little body slam. 100 gold on Bang, so. He's still powering up. Look at Marin! Oh, Marin sweeps Koro right under the rug as they try to do -si do in the... Triforce is finished. Nice. There's the true shot barrage. Pawn shifting Sands to the outside to make sure he is safe. Daft way too far forward with the exhaust on him. Ignite still ticking. Daft goes down and the team has to retreat as much pressure as he can. Here comes Koro's teleport. He's going to finalize that one. The smite still going to Bengi, and it looks like EDG may get a bit of the cavalry here. Koro is trying to tank everything. He goes down to Bang. Now 4-0-2. SKT very low, and this is going to be the pawn cleanup. Shifts over the wall. No, that's Daft that goes over the wall. He's got the scrying orb, and yeah, it, but again, a little too far ahead. Is it enough to pull the team back, though? Make it Marin throws everybody into the wall. SKT try to get back in the fight he goes down it all looks so blind in these big team fights they seem oh, to struggle quite a bit they're doing the same now here with so much poke coral taking a lot of damage down here just straight up greed farming right there from coral they just lost yeah just about to gnaw out the whole team side swiping from the bottom as well he gets pawn and mako mako can he deliver the timbers back into the fight marin trying to dodge out now bengi onto pawn nicely keeping him far away from doing damage but bengi finds himself as the main target now he will not go down that's grievous wounds now they're on to clear love skt has managed to get themselves in a good position but they all have very low hp as they skirt around dying in this fight faker starts to pick up kills goes in Zanya's. that's actually going to be a kill over to bang and they won't finalize may go out faker gets the force pulse double kill here comes koro the we saw koro use his so it is going to be marin that's able to make it in the narbar's halfway full dragon is going to go over to clear love it's something they needed to get those stats in marin is in a great spot to stop anybody from getting away pawn over the wall as well everything's happening in retreat right now for edg and skt is just layering on the damage only able to find koro here but i think mako is going to be a second kill as well and that is another double kill for fakers in wears off so a little bit of that pressure is down koro throws down the ultimate can they close the gap though from the side of edg they're still on the back pawn is getting time to work those blood boiled soldiers but all all SKT does is back up slightly, and they are completely now able to zone the fight. Pawn dives in, Emperor's defied so they can fly towards the back line, and Bengi hits up Deft immediately. He flashes over the wall, a nice Fox Bomb to take down Bengi, and it looks like Deft trying to skirt around the fight, cannot do so. SKT is just able to reposition themselves so fast, this composition can jump, hop, body slam, and rip. Expose backliners, I love the way SKT is playing patiently here. 
There's a body slam in, getting clear love out of the fight so they cannot be zoned with that absolute zero. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to use many of their ultimates at all. Mako gets out of this one. He still has Tibbers up. Using that stun accordingly is going to be big, but all he gets is a Polaroid of himself going down when he flashes that one. 22 to 6 is the score for SKT as they start to close the door on game four. We are going to go to a full five here in the finals of the midseason invitational. SKT dropping the last Nexus turret. Minimal min win minion waves on the way in. It's not going to matter. They're going to pull it off. We're going to game five.